Apache approach wasn't lightning fast. But on this canyon road just outside Las Vegas, Robert Bigelow's story takes a turn that some may find, to put it lightly, improbable. He told us this is where his grandparents had a close encounter with a UFO. It really sped up and came right into their face and filled up the entire windshield of the car. And it took off at a, at a right angle and shot off into the distance. That story sparked his obsession and explains the alien looking out from the side of Bigelow Aerospace. It made for the kind of conversation you don't ordinarily have with an accomplished CEO. Do you believe in aliens? I'm absolutely convinced that's all there is to it. Do you also believe that UFOs have come to Earth? There has been and is an existing presence, uh, an ET presence. And I've spent millions and millions, I probably spent more as an individual than anybody else in the United States has ever spent on this subject. Is it risky for you to say, you know, in public that you believe I don't in, give in a UFOs damn. and aliens? I don't care. You don't worry that some people will say, did you hear that guy? He sounds like he's crazy. I don't care. Why not? It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to change reality of what I know. Do you imagine that in our space travels we will encounter other forms of intelligent life? You don't have to go anywhere. You can find it here? Yeah. <laughs> Where exactly? It's just like right under people's noses. It's, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> The FAA confirmed to us that for years, it referred reports of UFOs and other unexplained phenomena to a company Bigelow owns. He told us he's had his own close encounters, but declined to go into detail. Robert Bigelow's quirky, and he knows it. But when you have as much money as he does, no one, not even NASA, seems to care. 